Hey everyone, welcome to this webinar on knowledge management in ClickUp 3.0. I'm your host, Elliot. I'm a member of the Solutions Org here at ClickUp. And there were a couple things I wanted to go through before we get started. First off, there, we are here answering questions in the Q&A, so feel free to ask your questions in the Q&A box. We've also got a live chat going, so if you wanna to talk to other members of the audience or react with an emoji to something you like or love, please feel free to do so in the chat. And finally, we are gonna be sticking around for an extra five minutes after the presentation to answer any additional questions that you may have. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn things over to my teammate, Sam, who's gonna teach you all about knowledge management in ClickUp 3.0. Hey everyone, and welcome to the 3.0 Spotlight on building a knowledge base within ClickUp. My name is Samantha Pelican, and I'm a senior solutions engineer over here at ClickUp. I've been here for just about two and a half years, and I've watched ClickUp continue to bring more use cases and features into the platform. In the next 10 minutes or so, we'll be going over what knowledge management in ClickUp looks like. What does it mean? And how can we break that down from company to teams and processes within the platform? So let's get into it. Over on the sidebar, over on the left-hand side here, we have spaces that separate out departments. But because of the flexibility of ClickUp, we can also use spaces to create a knowledge base throughout the company. Here, we're going to leverage folders to offer an easy way to access certain documents for our company and departments. We pop open the company SOP folder. Here, you can see we're hosting all of our company SOPs from onboarding all the way down to offboarding. While in project management, we have documents that are more focused on the PMO department. Program documentation, templates, and even specific team policies. Some might be thinking, well, Sam, that's what's the benefit of having these in team folders? And that's a great question. Having a team folder for your documents offers your team a single location to go to to easily find what they're looking for. Now, this doesn't mean that the only way to find documents is to go into this folder and sift through all the pieces of paper that are here. ClickUp's universal search has got your back. It's always there and it's going to allow your team at any given time to search for documentation. So let's say we're looking for the program summary. You can see how easy it is to access that information. And if the team has a quick question that they know is documented, they can then start to ask a question about the program summary itself. What is the objective behind the program summary? And you can see here, it's going to generate going to pull information from the document itself and answer that question. And it's even going to show you where it's referenced. So the team can easily use universal search, pairing that with AI within ClickUp to answer questions about documentation within the platform. Now, when it comes to making sure that those documentation is kept up to date, a company-wide resource list is the way to go. This is going to allow the team to easily assign ownership of documents and make sure nothing is being missed. Here we have a Ray as the assignee for this marketing SOP. And we've set a recurring date to say that every three months, we're going to have Ray go in, make sure that there's updates that have need to be posted to the marketing SOP, and then nothing's being missed. Offer, it's going to offer the team direction if they have questions on specific policies or on the content itself. They know that they can go to Ray to ask those questions about the marketing SOP. For Ray, when it comes that time every three months to review, she can jump right into the task and access the linked document. Now, the reason why the, link, the document is linked here is because we still want it to live in that folder in the knowledge base. This way we can click right through and Ray can get to work. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see right away, we have nested pages, layers of nested pages and content that our team can access. You can see that Ray's worked hard on creating some of this content, putting in objectives, adding in images, and if anything, need, if anyone needs help, if she needs help with anything, she can pull in her team members. 
Here you can see we've reached out to Bob to bring him in to this review for the marketing procedures. You can collaborate within these documents, making sure that the content is up to speed, it's 100%. And when you get to the point to where Ray's comfortable with what's going on within the document, she can come in and protect the document. Protecting the document means that this is ready to go. This has been reviewed. It's up to date. And we're not going to let anybody else come in here and make any changes. Now, three months from now, we might want to unprotect this, review it, and collaborate again on new procedures or changes to active procedures. When it comes to company-wide documentation, like an employee handbook, it offers you a great opportunity to create an experience for your team members. It's inviting, it's exciting, it's very straightforward. What's great about this is you can collaborate here. You can put GIFs in, you can add videos if you wanted to have a welcome video for your new team members. You can quickly jump into a company story, get easy access to external links or slide decks that you have in Google Docs or Google Slides. It's really gonna be that one source of truth for everything as it regards in regards to the employee handbook within your company. Now, what about new documents that need to be created? How, how can we get that going? Well, for new documents like customer support workflow, let's lean into ClickUp AI one more time. Using ClickUp AI prompts, we can select a department and a certain prompt and what we're looking for. ClickUp AI is going to generate a customer support workflow SOP for us. Now, within the prompt that you just saw, you can add as much detail, as little detail as you'd like. You can get very, very specific, even down to not using contractions within the document itself. And when you insert this information, you can come back in, use AI to make something shorter or even longer. And you're always going to get a chance to regenerate and insert the information that you like within the document itself. What I really, really like about this is it gives me the ability to draw inspiration from what AI has created for me. So using ClickUp AI prompts is going to offer you a great starting point for what your team is looking for. And like I said, don't forget, you can easily make adjustments to anything that has been created. Oftentimes I hear clients say, what's the easiest way to bring all of this together to create that true knowledge management internet feel within the platform? And honestly, it's going to be through ClickUp dashboards. ClickUp dashboards can be leveraged as your company's one-stop shop. Here you have quick access buttons for the team, a quick link to the org chart, HR Central, which is your employee handbook. And the team can even come over and access the company objectives and OKRs from this quick action link here. Other useful information for your team might be something like the latest news that's happening throughout the company. Whose birthdays are this month? And if they have direct questions, we're going to open up that direct line of communication to leadership. They can come in here. They can ask questions. They can submit support. It really is a one-stop shop for your team, it acts as a portal for them to get all the information they need, have it at their fingertips without feeling the need to dig through a couple layers of documents to find what they're looking for. ClickUp offers a robust way to not only document, but to create an experience for your team through documentation, accessibility, and visibility. So we just covered a lot. And I understand it was a lot and it was quick, but to sum it all up, we walked through how you can use ClickUp dashboards as an intranet for the company, offering the team quick access links to things like org charts and those employee handbooks, as well as support. We walked through company wikis from the company side all the way down to Teams, and we saw how we can create a really great employee handbook experience for the team. 
This is knowledge management with ClickUp. Thank you. Hey everybody, Elliot again. Thank you so much, Sam, for that amazing presentation. As a reminder, the Q&A will stay open for an additional five minutes, so please feel free to ask any questions that you still may have. Also, just wanted to mention that this session was recorded and we will be providing a copy of the recording to you along with additional resources. I'm gonna jump back to the Q&A to continue answering questions, but I just wanted to say thanks again for joining.